Hey guys, happy child, you're back with another video and today we are going to be modding Venom Diabolo's D5 to give it back its precious bullet driver. So let's get straight into it. So guys, before I show you the mod, we have to open up this bad boy. So let's get straight into it. So guys, here we go. Venom Diabolos D5. I've been so excited for this fate late to unbox it. It just looks so sick. Like, look at that kind of radiating metal blue part of the chip. And it's just really cool overall. And I've been really excited to get it, to unbox it, and to show you guys it. But one thing I haven't been excited about is the driver. So some people complain about this a lot. Some are like, meh, it just goes with hyperspeed. But a lot of people really don't like it in general. And I wish they would have done a bullet. It seems like it could have fit into hypersphere, but the bullet, instead of popping off like in the Takeratomi version, it just stays on. It's just a normal hypersphere driver. So we're going to be fixing that. But before we do, we're going to be having some regular battles to show you what it's like before the mod. This is how we usually do things on the channel here. And to do that, we're going to be using three other test dummy Beyblades. Um, three of the best stock combos that I have so far. So they're not all super good, but they are at least mediocre stock combos. So we're going to be putting um, this stock combo up against these three stock combos. So let's get straight into it, guys. First, we're going to be putting them up against Bush and Ashura. So three, two, one. That's for sure. Let's launch him first this time, since Bushinisher is a little bit more stationary, kind of. Oh, it's all around. Huge hits. Oh, and that was pretty much a tie, guys. These two are pretty even. Let's move on to our next um, battle, though. So next we have Ace Dragon versus, you know, our main man. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one, and... I was not expecting a burst, but Debo's wasn't even close to bursting. So let's go into our second battle with these two. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Oh my goodness, are these too loud and very aggressive. Can we get another burst? Don't think so, but you can hope. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, none of them were super close to bursting that time. But yeah, Venom Debo's isn't doing too bad. It doesn't have the best stamina but it sure has some crazy attacks. So let's go into our last match, which is Joker versus Dubolos. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Huge hits, my goodness, I feel like it's gonna be a first. Oh man, I called it, called it so hard. Oh, poor Venom Dubolos. Second battle, here we go. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Super close to bursting, but still, Venom Diabolos loses both times to Judgment Joker. Now, here comes for the fun part. We are going to be making Venom Diabolos have a bullet driver in a modded way. So, if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you've seen that I've done this kind of mod already. But at that time, Venom Diabolos actually wasn't out in Hasbro versions. So, basically, now that it's out, we are going to be fully doing the mod on the combo and everything. So let's get straight into it. So guys, basically for this mod, we're going to be using this little red driver. I believe it's assault or something. I, I get these um, normal ones confused, but I believe this is an assault driver and see how it has that little hole or like that little extrusion on it. That's what we want. So using that extrusion, we are going to get some putty. So guys, here we go. We got the putty and now we're going to need a micro Beyblade. So we just stick that putty in the hole of the micro and I'm sure you can see where we're going here. We put that on it and sure it's kind of clunky, kind of weird, but when the Beyblade's launched, it lands. And since this Beyblade is 
it's fitting. The second this lands, the other mini driver takes off around the stadium. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's gonna be fun either way, and I'm really happy with this mod. I think this is like a nice mod where it's just kinda of simple, really fun, doesn't always work, but it means it's even more satisfying when it does. So I guess without further ado, let's put this into battle. But before we do that, let's do a test launch and see if we can get this to work on camera. And there we go! Look at that first try! It's standing to die immediately, but that is the bullet driver in action, guys. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now let's go into some matches. So our first match is going to be against Bushin Ashura versus, you know, the true MVP. Here we go. Let's see if it can take this. Guys, I'm not sure if Assault has enough stamina to, to compete with um, Hyper Spear Drivers because Hyper Spear Drivers have so much life after death and just keep wobbling around. Let's see if it can take this though. And it looks like, yes, it barely takes it, guys. Let's go. And the Bullet Driver worked in everything. Wow, I'm really happy. Let's go. Three, two, one, and. Bushnisher barely takes it just with a little bit more stamina, even though it was very close to bursting. So that was, that was a good battle, guys. Let's let's try this again. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Oh, oh, bullet spinning! And he got pinched. Oh, poor bullet driver. Here we go. Comes down to stamina. I think Bushnisher might lose. Yes, it's going to walk for longer, but see guys, the, the battle just ends so unexpectedly without the hypersphere drivers for this combo, but it's still doing really good. Let's, let's give it one more battle with Bushinish. Three, two, one, and three, two, three, two, one, bullet driver. What just happened? Guys, he bursted. Oh, how sad of an ending to this battle, but at least he literally went out with a bang. So we're going to be moving on into our next battle, which is going to be a Strakken. So it's Dragon, not the best Beyblade, but it's a pretty good um, mix of attack and stamina. So let's see if it can take this battle or not. Three, two, one, and... still spinning. Look at that. Three, two, one, and three, two, one, bullet driver spinning the bomb. And it is getting flopped around. It is useless now. And then it almost takes it again. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh no, he killed his own son. Oh man, I feel burst. I feel burst. Let's see. It's doing so good. Kyle's doing so good. And then it's just like finishing off with a bang every time with the burst. But you know, we're doing pretty good. Even though we murdered his own like little son. Poor guy. So let's get into this last match, which is Judgment Joker versus the modded Venom Diabolo. So here we go. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Rest in peace, Venom Diabolos. Rest in peace. Oh no. It's like the combo's doing pretty decent, but it, it's bursting mechanism. It's just not tight enough, guys. Not tight enough. Three, two, one, and. Three, two, one. Bullet driver keeps getting stuck up here. Here we go, guys. This could be anyone's game. I think Venom Diabolos might take it in. Oh, I think Judgment Joker actually took it. I was telling you guys about that life after death that Hypersphere Beyblades just have, and that was just perfectly showcased. Three, two, one, and. Three, two, one. Bullet Driver keeps getting stuck. Come on, drop down, little buddy. Yay! Come on, it's right back up there. And it's a. My goodness, I think Venom Diabolos bursted first, but that was cool. That it just shows you how close these matches are. 
So guys, we're going to be having our final match, winner takes all, the other Beyblades or the Venom v Diabolos modded combo. So here we go. I hope it wins, but I'm not sure. Three, two, one, and... No! Why? That was a humongous burst, guys. No! So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love this mod, and it was really fun to battle with. Um, this Hypersphere Stadium, like, it gets stuck up here more than I wish it would, but that's just, you know, part of, part of the job description. <laughs> anyway, this combo did really good. The problem wasn't the bullet driver, wasn't its stamina, its stamina was pretty decent. The problem was this driver, it's been worn out over time, and it's older, and it's spring lock already to start off with wasn't very strong. So it's not exactly the tightest combo slope-wise. So that was its downfall. The mod though, mm, beautiful guys, beautiful. <laughs> guys, if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, feel free to subscribe. It's free and it would really help out the channel. Also, if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and want more content like this. Anyways, with that being said, keep your words up and smile a lot. See you guys next time. Bye, boom, boom.